this is DJ Y Ralph with Whispering Video. You also may know me as Spooky Sue from my days on Twitch. I intend to revive that channel and do more of what I did there, which was art, disability, awareness, and relaxing videos like this one. Although I started in the art category, people found me relaxing, so I began to do guided meditation. And that's what this is, a relaxing guided meditation. starting this in my car. My engine's running. I thought the soft on might be comforting, but I'll eventually turn it off after it's a little bit warmer. We're going to go on a journey together, on a fall path. I want you to come with me if you're able. This video will probably take about an hour. Get yourself a hot beverage or a comforting beverage of some type. Settle in and make yourself comfortable. If you can, remove your shoes. Make sure your clothing is comfortable you're not distracted. You may hear things in the background, and I'm going to soon zoom in so that you're not even distracted by my poochie fear. Here we go. I want you to imagine yourself with me on a very wide pathway into the woods. It's full. There aren't many leaves on the path. Most of them have fallen in the woods, so we can hear the soft rustling of leaves sometimes in the distance animals are walking by, or when the wind blows enough to stir them. It's a comforting sound, the sound of fall. It's an ending, but also it's the promise of renewal, harvest season. We're going to go on a journey and then sit on a rock together, and I'm going to help you relax and stretch. Okay, let's begin. Let's walk down this path. Isn't it beautiful? I love trees. Look at that one bright red. Oh, there's one in orange. And next to it, golden. My favorite. Maple. What's your favorite tree? I want you to think about that, if you have one. Perhaps it's the pine or the fir. It's your choice. This path has anything we want on it. Do you hear anything here in the wood? I hear in the distance my favorite bird, the crow. When I was a small child, a crow fell out of a tree, and I was allowed to rescue it. My parents knew better, but they let me anyway. I took it into, well, I took it into my tree house my father built, and even though my parents tried to dissuade me by telling me that it needed worms in order to survive, they allowed me to use a dropper, and I dutifully went out and harvested worms. And I kept that bird alive for I'm not sure how many days. It had some pin feathers by the time it was ready to go. And the story is sad. It died when a young man put it in a tree because it could grip a hand. And it actually fell to its death. It was the first creature I ever mourned. And ever since then, I felt that I've been a friend to the crow. And I've admired them from afar. The crow is an important bird. It will announce when there's something good with a joyful Caw, caw, caw. That's why I say caw so much. Or sometimes it'll warn you about the weather. Caw, caw. Here comes the storm. Where I was recently, I saw them flying high in the sky. They weren't making any sound, but it was unusual. There are many clouds, and I knew snow was coming because it was cold. So always pay attention, especially to the crow. It's your friend, not a scary bird. They'll let you know the weather, even if you don't have your phone an app to tell you what's coming. Yeah, do you hear a bird? What's your favorite? I love them all. It's hard to choose, right? Can you hear a song? Maybe you imagine it. I don't know. For some people, it's different. You imagine yours. Let's walk a little further. <sighs> Take deep breaths as you walk. Very deep about it, just enough to calm yourself. <sighs> so good to be in nature, isn't it? Science has taught us that all human beings need nature in order to be calm. If you're ever having trouble, even if you're in a city, I recommend you step outside. When I lived in the city of Chicago, I once saw a possum hanging by its tail. It startled me and 
pissed in my face, but it's still my friend. Did you know possums eat ticks? Good animal, protector of people, eating ticks, saving the deer. Oh look, there's a squirrel. Those little guys are everywhere, so clever. What an acrobat, huh? Putting away its nuts. And other treasures. They're around all winter, aren't they? Not as much, but I like watching the squirrels. They keep my dog entertained in the yard. They're at war, but it's a play war. I think the squirrel enjoys my dog's company as much as my dog enjoys it.
sorry about all that stuff I did. You know, kind of busy. I appreciate you, though. as much as the feet or the cat, but some days, boy, you talk to me too. <sighs> Thank you, I'm releasing your pain now, out through my toes. The dark color is eroding, and it's replaced by calm, calm feelings. I'm going to lift my legs a little, and you should too. Remember, not a competition, just a light lift and shake them out. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, me. And especially thank you, Thai. You're a powerhouse of doing so much. Now, I want you to imagine that you're doing a little shimmy. It's not a dance, per se just wiggling your hips and allowing them to release some of the tension. When you can later, it's good to stretch your thighs, your calves, and your legs by stretching out on your bed and putting yourself, if you can, on your knees and slowly letting your legs slide apart so that you can pop the tension out of your hips. We're not doing that now, but if you are in a situation where that's possible, it's a good time. Thank you, hips. I like you. I'm Spooky Sue, so I really like my skeleton. It does a lot of work. It's like the architecture of the body. Carrying us everywhere through the world. And our hips. They're kind of funny, aren't they? They do a lot. Without them, we wouldn't get anywhere. And some of us have their use. So I'm grateful for you hips. Thank you for carrying me through the day and the night and my whole life. And thank you for putting up with my thighs, my calves, and my feet complaining. <sighs> I'm releasing your tension back into the world. Out through the toes. spine. There's a lot of you. I've sustained a lot of injuries in my life at 52. Thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate you. Even though you sometimes cause me trouble and pinch things in my body so that I lose feet feeling or sometimes have pain. I'm grateful for you. You hold me up and make everything I do possible. And if someday I lose you, I won't forget what you've done for me. I want you now to imagine your torso as its own thing and do a bit of a shimmy and a turn. Gently, very gently to one side as though you're looking towards the side. Dear, dear, walking here in the forest. <sighs> center. Now, let's turn and listen the other direction. Skeleton doing a tiny dance. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your 
the most important center of strength. When I had an injury, I lost my control of my center and my core. I don't take it for granted because it took me two and a half years to rebuild it. I regain my strength and walk again. muscles do hard work. I'm relaxing all of it, all the way down. <sighs> Out my body. Back into Mother Earth. Back into the universe. <sighs> okay, now, let's make a move to the shoulder. actually control our arms. But because of the injuries I've sustained, I also know that's how I see with the world. I've lost a little bit of my seeing with my body. That's okay though, I've had to relearn. I'm not ashamed. I walk with a tall stick. It's almost as tall as me, carved in Seattle. of the bay or someone made it into a walking stick and by something like a miracle made its way to my hands it helps me maintain my balance oh I think I'm gonna cough let me cough into my elbow <coughs> excuse me <coughs> don't let any interruption I belched. Oh well, I'm human. Oh no, I might get the hiccups. Oh well. Thank you, shoulders. Thank you, shoulders, for being part of my heart. Boy, you do a lot. Sometimes you hurt. Especially when the weather changes. That's why stretching is so important. Another stretch you can do right now is pushing your shoulders gently back. And releasing them forward. And pressing them forward. Your arms for doing so much. If I have you, you're always there for me, allowing me to make art, to type, to hold people I love, and to pet my dog. I appreciate you. You work almost. 
just as hard as the legs. And sometimes you hurt. That's why I'm releasing the pain right now, back into the world. Hands. Good to see you. I want you to look at your hands if your eyes are open. Or open them softly on your legs. Upright. Reaching out to the sky. Thank you, hands. Sometimes you hurt the most. You grip things. You help me open packages that I can't open. My disability makes it hard to open packages. Just a few moments before I started this meditation, I had to ask someone to open my Benadryl. Oh, well, thank God for kind people. He barely knew me. He works here. a lot of gratitude for that. Thank you, hands. Even though you can't do all the work I need you to do, I appreciate you being here and helping me. You're a part of me and I'm a part of you. You bear my handprint and my fingerprints. A certain sort of special identification with whirls and swirls like spirals. You make me unique in my own way. I appreciate Flex your hands. Like you're squeezing the softest ball in the world. And when you're done, if you want to pause this video, you can take one of your thumbs and very gently rub your palm and any of your fingers that need it. Or you can skip to what I'm going to do right now, which is shake my hands out as though I'm flinging water off the tips. <sighs> Goodbye, tension. <sighs> Thank you, upper body. You've got me so far. Okay. Let's go back up the arm and to one of the most oh, contentious places of con contention and tension in the body. Oh, yeah, that's right. The shoulders. I don't know about you, but sometimes mine turn into stone. So I want you to gently reach up to your own shoulder and use your fingers very lightly. More like a, I don't know, like you're tapping on a keyboard, sort of, but squeezing very gently at the same time. I want you to move your fingers from the edge of your neck slowly. to be careful with massage, but this is a great way to release tension into your neck. Many people are plagued by headaches, often from the shoulders and neck. If you sit at a computer, excuse me, <coughs> if you drive a car, if you lean over art to play an instrument, if you do anything really, have children, work a job, so tense. I'll take a hot shower eventually, and that'll help you. I might put a poem on. I like THC. I don't think that young people should smoke marijuana. When you're too young, it can cause problems with your memory. And though I don't believe it's addictive, in some people it can cause greater depression. So please be careful with it as a medicine. Instead, I might apply a balm that has THC and CBD in it. I find this releases the most pain in my body, and I frequently use it on my shoulders and my neck and parts of my back when I can reach it. Now, let's reach and do the same to the other shoulder. I'm just going to breathe. If you need to go beyond me, take your time and pause the video. Thank you, Arms. 
like your shoulder. Oh, you had a hard day yesterday and today. We'll be all right. I'll visit you again and we'll relax. You can do any part of this at any time with any part of your body, especially if you suffer daily from pain like I do. I have fibromyalgia, allegedly, and I'm also not exactly young. And in my lifetime, I've been a wild one and I've sustained many interesting injuries. My last one, my toe tried to kill me, my very own toe. And I fell and I had a spiral and a butterfly break and somehow did not hit my head on the concrete on the sidewalk. Yeah, the sidewalk got me. I did a Charlie Brown. That's why I have a rod in my arm now and I have about 30% feeling lost most days. If I get swelling, it's worse. But using natural treatments and relaxation, hot water and meditation, oh, I mostly manage my pain. And I can still control a paintbrush. Thank you, shoulder. I'll try better tomorrow. Do more stretching and relaxation. Now, let's stand. Feet apart, gently. Hands to your side, relaxed. Shake out any tension you have at this point from your torso all the way down. It's not quite a convulsion. More like you're being tickled from all over and you're shaking it all out. <sighs> Goodbye tension flow out of my fingertips and my toes. Back to the universe and back to the earth. <sighs> Thank you, Earth Mother. <sighs> Thank you, Earth. so many gifts, and I appreciate even this imaginary forest built from my own mind. Let's look around at the trees. What's your favorite color? It's hard to choose. Some days I like a bright red. Ah, fiery fall leaf. Renewal. Evening of fire. Campfire. Oh, here comes a cough. Repeat the 
this four times. I'm going to describe it the first time, and then I'll slow breathe until I'm done. You can either pause the video and continue, or you can follow me in this trail. Well, not the trail. The relaxation part of this guided meditation. shoulder. Slow roll to the other side. Thank you, neck. You're released a little bit and I might have to return later. You do so much. Now, I want you to drop your chin forward. Not hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh? shoulder. Slow roll. Ear to shoulder. Back to center. Ear to shoulder. for a cough. So want to be careful with your diet. And a wise doctor, medical type, once helped me su survive and avoid migraine headaches. <sighs> Thank you, doctor. You taught me you read in a medical journal that many people have a imbalance of vitamins and micronutrients. And every day I eat a small quantity, mostly of almonds or mixed nuts, with my breakfast. Since I've begun 
this practice. I almost never get a headache unless it's from tension. And when I do, I stretch it out. I rarely have to take anything for it. Since I've mentioned it, thank you, nuts. You're a sacred seed. You came from a tree. And I appreciate that someone planted you somewhere in a grove. That someone tended you and you grew. And by some magic, almost, someone harvested you, packaged you, and brought you to my table. You can do this with anything in your life, whether it's food, my favorite, or something good that happened in your day. And someone who loved you. Sometimes we find it from strangers. I was once given a cab drive from a man, a real person. My car broke down in Chicago in the dead of winter. And I didn't know it at the time, but my gas tank had failed. And though that man had a job to do, he stopped and tried to work on my car for a moment with me. Thank you, cab driver. I haven't seen you in years, and you didn't give me your name but I have a great deal of gratitude for you still. You drove me all the way back to my apartment, even though I had no money to pay you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, a distant car. I know. We're on a trail. But we're not that far from the parking lot yet, you know. Sometimes you hear a car engine. Kind of a comfort to me. Again, thank you, cab driver. I had no cash, and I explained to you that I was in an economic situation. I couldn't even go to the ATM. <sighs> I know you were a daisy from somewhere, I believe, in India, by your accent, and your kindness is a gratitude that stayed in my heart. <sighs> it's the only way I try to live my own life. Even when I'm at a checkout, because I worked in retail for so long, I always try to practice this kindness with everyone. Don't forget, people are people just like you. Ask people how they are. Talk to them like human beings. If you know their name, thank them. If you don't know their name, you may need to talk to them more. Maybe they're their regular, your regular. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Ed. 
gets tired, release your hand again, place it face up in your leg, palm open. Thank you, Noggin. Boy, oh boy. Information center, control center, whatever. You do it all. Without thinking. Brain, you help me control everything. Along with my heart, for which I'm also grateful. Thank you for providing all the energy I need to be a person. For being the conduit of creativity and joy. Allowing me to see and love people. And to enjoy this beautiful world. I appreciate you. You're me and I'm you. Thank you, self. It's not always easy, but you do your best. I appreciate you. its troubles. I always find a way around by slowing down and taking a personal inventory. Instead of saying, why me? I eventually say, why anyone? And that connects me to the greater world and to humanity. Thank you, self. know the path we're on, but somehow we get there, and we do our best, and we try to practice gratitude and love openly. Okay, now let's sit on the rock again. because we're almost at the end. You can repeat this meditation again at any time, in part or in whole, or you can take what you've learned into your own. I generally try to sit in a quiet place where I can see nature. When the weather's chilly, my car is my absolute, I don't know, favorite place. Oh, panoramic view. I can roll down the window and hear the crows and the other birds. <coughs> my back. How fortunate I am. We're going to go to a grove next, and you're going to end there on your own. I'll describe it first, and you'll walk behind me. The grove we're going to is an open space. Beautiful, beautiful field. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. Many grasses. Ready for fall. Seeds preparing to be carried off or dropped. <sighs> Look, even the milkweeds here. <sighs> I hope I'm not allergic, are you? It's important to the butterfly. Part of the pollination cycle. Part of life. Now, as we sit there, I didn't tell you when I went to the grocery store made a basket you may have not noticed. It's just got your favorite fruit in it, whatever that is. Whatever that is, this is your imagination, and I want you to imagine that I'm your friend, and I know your favorite in-season fruit. <sighs> Today I brought an orange. I enjoy peeling them. It releases oil, which is fragrant. Sometimes I put it on my own wrist so I can enjoy it later. peel it slowly, and sometimes I tear up the peel and throw it out in the woods rather than in the trash. Some things go to the trash, but even the rat, maybe the raccoon needs something. I'm going to peel that orange, and you, you'll eat your favorite fruit, maybe an orange too. And look, I brought off tea made from flour. Very mild, even if you're picky, I think you'll like it. Nothing like a hot beverage and a piece of fruit. 
smells like joy and in your mouth that has a little dance with the citrus tickling your tongue. Thank you, Orange. I appreciate you. From the seed that was first born and then planted into the tree that you grew into and the people who actually took the time to tend and harvest you and somehow bring this fruit all the way from another place like Florida or maybe California or even another country like Mexico to me so I could enjoy this orange. That's what you're going to do when you get on the other side, okay? Now, I want you to imagine yourself walking behind me. I have a walking stick. It came from a pine tree and it fell into the bay in Seattle. I learned of its origin from a record collector who happened to stop me. Yeah, many people ask me about it. It's almost as tall as me, just above my shoulder, because I have some physical limitations. It helps me keep my arms stretched and prevents me from tipping over if I stub my toe again. It's a peaceful stick, though, carved with wolf. Someone took the time to carve it lightly, and then they used fire to burn it just enough. And then they took the time to make it beautiful by sealing it and protecting it. I'll be just ahead of you, and I have my keys on it. You'll hear them rattle as we go. Also, don't be frightened. I have a necklace that looks like plastic bones. Well, skulls. After all, my nickname is Spooky Sue. And every day for me is Halloween. Let's go to the grove now. I'm going to stop the video and you'll be alone. But you know where we're going. You know what we have. Now you know how to be there on your own, even if I'm not talking. I want to thank you for being who you are and taking the time to join me on this walk. I'll be silent after this, but you are an important person, no matter how life treats you. Be your best self. Make some beauty in the world. Let nothing dissuade you. Even a tough day can end well. It's up to you. You make a choice at every moment. Until next time, this is DJ Y. Ralph, a.k.a. Spooky Sue, a.k.a. Yasuhu, where you can find some of my video playlists. I'm a multimedia artist, and I've been mixing up videos there to push the Google algorithms. I understand metadata, and I wanted the music playlist to contain more variety. So even though I had some pre-made channels, yeah, pre-made, I slipped videos into those same sections, and eventually we'll add things back to those topics that I've made public. You can shuffle them and get information, and you can have a break from taking in information with beautiful songs or fun songs or rallying songs to help you make it through the day. Choose any bang, oh, any bang boy, what a Freudian slip, not that I like that guy, more of a Jungian. You can listen to something like The Pain and Relief. That's a playlist which contains some things I used to control my own pain, but it also has songs I feel personally go around that theme. Sometimes I add and remove songs, so if you go there, you may not hear it again. Make sure you like that video and add it to your own playlist. It helps other artists, and I believe in artists helping other artists. Anyway, I'm going on like I usually do. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you around. On Facebook, where I'm a virtual, experimental, abstract, playing with the actual website, DJ. I'll bring you more music here, too. I'll see you soon, and eventually I'll have my Twitch channel back. And you'll not only get guided meditation, but art, art history, and other things.